Still checking in the place, still cold Moving in the way, no place, no snow Straight chilling with my niggas that shiver Thinking about Hey, how's it going guys? It's your boy Phobia here, and today I'm bringing you guys a brand new video. Uh, I got a new mic, so hopefully it sounds, the voice audio quality is a bit better. I'm also a little bit sick still, uh, so if my voice sounds off, that's why. But anyway, so today in this video I'm going to be showing you guys how to uninstall the Electra Jailbreak that I showed you how to install in the last video. Now the reason for this is that the version with Cydia has been released, and I'm going to make it a tutorial on how to install that right after I finish up this tutorial so that should be out within about an hour or so after this one it's a very simple process to do uh, to start um, if you have any themes on on a moan or however the fuck you say that I forget if you have any tweaks on there or uh, any themes make sure you disable them and also if you have made any changes to system files uh, such as plist files or anything of the sort make sure you delete or uh, revert those to the stock ones because if you uninstall this jailbreak and you do not have fully stock files and you try to install the other one you may uh, get stuck in a boot loop which really sucks and trust me you don't want that so make sure if you modified any system files that you put them back to stock so now what you're going to want to do is on uh, Mac OS you're going to want to use Terminal or on Windows you're going to want to use Putty. It's the same process for both uh, since the process takes place on the phone. So what you're going to want to do is uh, you're going to also need your phone's IP address. You can find that in settings. Um, in the Wi-Fi settings you can click the I next to your Wi-Fi network and it will uh, show you your IP address. You just You're going to need to know that. So what you're going to type in in terminal, and it's the same process for putty. Uh, on putty, you're just going to type in the. You're not going to. You can type in root at, but you're probably just going to use the IP address. So, but since this is Mac, we're going to do ssh root at, and then your phone's IP address. Mine is 192.168.1.81, and just hit enter. It's going to ask you for your password. The default root password is going to be Alpine, A-L-P-I-N-E. However, mine is not that, and uh, I showed you how to change that in the last video. So if you changed it, um, make sure to enter whatever password you set it to. And hit enter, and now you're going to be logged in as root, as you can see here, we're uh, root. So what you're going to want to do is just type in, it's very simple, bash, and you're just going to type in slash bootstrap. And you can hit tab to uh, auto complete it, but slash bootstrap slash unjailbreak.sh and hit enter. And it's going to say that uh, make sure that you have not installed blah 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 or modified it uh, and hit enter to continue. Since I have not modified anything, I'm going to hit enter. If you have modified your system files, do not hit enter. Obviously, you're going to want to press control C. But like I said, I've done that, so we're going to go ahead and hit enter. And now you just wait. Simple as that. Just gonna wait for the script to complete. But uh, like I said, um, if you have this, also mentions about other jailbreaks. Um, if you do have ins or if you have installed something like Topanga in the past or uh, any other jailbreak, you're going to want to, uh, there's something called um, uh, semi-restore, or future restore actually is the correct one. If you have your blobs, your SHSH blobs, you can, uh, you can use that to uh, restore to a stock iOS. I'm not going to go into that in this video, obviously, because that's a very long process. But as you can see, uh, my device is rebooting. It's... Uh, You'll wait for this to come back up. But um, my phone is rebooting. And we'll wait for it to boot up here. But now, uh, pretty much, you're, uh, you're unjailbroken. It's simple as that. Once your phone reboots, um, you can go ahead and follow my next video, which should be up by the time you're watching this, which is going to be how to install the version of um, Electra that contains Cydia. So let me just go ahead and do that real quick. I just unlock my phone so we can I can go ahead and show you that everything's gone. Oh, it's already reconnecting. Okay. 
so as you can see all of my tweaks are gone uh, if I scroll all the way over uh, you will see that there is still the Electra app because obviously you put it on there with Impactor. However, you'll notice that uh, Anamone's gone or however you say it. Uh, and every other jailbreak app that I had is gone. So um, yeah, so that's going to be it for this video. I uh, hope you guys enjoyed. Um, stay tuned for the next video so you can learn how to install the version that has City on it. And uh, yeah, I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.